Hey everybody, welcome to week 13. Uh, I'm 13 weeks and 3 days today. There was no 12 week video just because of Christmas and New Year's Eve, which is also my birthday. Um, there was just a lot going on and so I didn't make one. Not a whole lot to update on. Um, you know, everything's pretty much the same. I'm, you know, feeling better all the time. I don't really have any morning sickness or anything like that anymore. You know, I didn't ever have that really bad anyway, but, you know, the little bouts and things like that that I had are gone. Um, I still have some episodes of being tired. Definitely have more energy, you know, than I did at first, but I still am kind of fighting with being tired, especially at night, and I definitely think it's due to the Prometrium, which I get to stop on Friday. I cannot wait. It is such a huge inconvenience to have to do that, and, and I'm just so glad to be done with it. It seems like it's been forever, and so, um, I think that's the only good thing about, like, when you have an IUI and you're, you're not pregnant is that you get to stop the pre-trim because it's so horrible. But um, the one thing that is a little bit different, well, there's a couple things. Um, I'm sleeping horribly. I'm tossing and turning at night, not able to fall asleep, not able to get good sleep. When I do sleep, I wake up. Um, I don't know if that's pregnancy related or, like, other things related. I don't know. But that's something that's going on. So, in turn, that actually caused me to cancel the doctor's appointment I had with my regular doctor to talk about the A1C and the glucose. Um, you know, the more I think about it, the less concerned I am with it, um, just for my own sake. So, I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about it. I'll talk to my OB next Tuesday at our next appointment about the blood work. Um, that's my first opportunity to discuss it with him, kind of see what he says, tell him my thoughts on it, and we'll go from there. Um... Something that happened, um, which I'm trying to think which day I realized, I can't remember, but um, this last, like, two weeks, my appetite has gone, like, down. I, I don't, like, I literally am stuffed after just a little bit of food, and I just am not hungry throughout the day, like, and that's obviously, you know, something very new to me, um, you know, that's never really happened before, I've never had a problem eating, um, obviously. But, um, I don't, it's obviously, I would say, pregnancy related. I almost think it's because I feel, um, much more pregnant now. Um, I know that in the, uh, I think it was the last week, the baby had doubled in size since week, like, nine or something, I want to say, or tripled, I can't remember. But, um, I w almost want to say that maybe that's related to it, maybe because I feel a little fuller down there that maybe, um... I don't know, but I'm not eating as much, and I weighed myself on, I can't remember what day it was, but I'd lost eight pounds in like a week and a half, and I almost thought about calling the doctor, and I actually weighed myself again a couple hours later. I thought, well, maybe there's something wrong with the scale. I mean, normally I would be thrilled to lose weight like that, but um, I didn't because um, I have such a... <laughs> I'm, you know, I, I'm heavier anyway, so, you know, eight pounds would be a lot to somebody that was really thin, but eight pounds to me is such a small percentage of my body weight that I really didn't think it was a huge deal. Um, I, since I found out I lost weight, I have been much more careful about trying to eat, much more careful about eating smaller meals throughout the day, um, snacking on some stuff just to, um, I don't really want to gain weight. There's no point in gaining those eight pounds back, but I want to make sure that I'm not losing any weight because I know that that's not good. So um, that's that. And I'll definitely discuss that with him at the Tuesday, at the appointment next Tuesday, but I just wouldn't really think it was necessary to call, especially when I have no other symptoms of anything. And like I said, because that's such a small percentage of my weight, it's it, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Um, we did some exciting things this week. We bought, we, uh, bought a lot of baby stuff. We went out and actually bought the crib, ordered it anyway. Um, we bought the monitor system that we're going to use. Um, we bought some toys. Um, I think that's that. I'm not going to show them to you. I don't know exactly where they are, but I do have the crib here. We got it from, or the picture of it. It's the, um, we got it from... Ah, Babies R Us. It's the Heritage Collection. Um, the reason why we, we really debated a lot over the crib, because there was a crib at Target I liked that was $230, and this crib was $449. So um, my husband really leaned toward this crib. I really leaned toward the cheaper crib. But um, what ended up making our decision is this, this crib is solid mahogany. 
where the other one, I'm not sure whether it was like pine or whatever. But, and it's a lifetime crib, so I figure if we're going to go through the investment of having a lifetime crib, it might as well be wood that will hold up. So we ended up going with that. Um, and in all in all, it's not that much. I mean, they're going to use it their whole life, so it's really not that much money. Um, we do want to get the dresser and the nightstand. Um, we're going to wait on those because we really want to be able to pay cash for everything. So we're just kind of, you know, buying a piece here and a piece there. Um, super excited about finding out the gender. I cannot wait. The, the closer it gets, the more excited I get. The further along I get, the more excited I get because I feel like with each week, it becomes more real. I think that at first, and I've talked about this a lot, at first I didn't want to get too excited. I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't want to picture the fact that there was going to be a baby here because I didn't, if something happened, wanted to be, you know, I didn't want to be upset. But, you know, as time goes on and we actually buy things that are, you know, not like little clothes you could give away or something, you know what I mean? Like a huge crib. Um, it's, it's getting really exciting. We actually registered at Babies R Us while we were there for some stuff. You know, obviously we didn't, I didn't want to register for too much yet because we don't know the gender and I don't want to pick out like a car seat or a stroller or anything like that until we absolutely know, you know, what the gender is. My husband insists it's going to be a boy. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> I kind of lean more toward girl. So we'll see. I'm really hoping that at the Tuesday's OB appointment that he will schedule because my next point will be four weeks out from them at which point I should they should be able to tell the gender so I'm hoping that they can schedule the next appointment and the ultrasound um, we're hoping for early February like the second week of February I think is the, when I'm 18 weeks I think so um, I'm just really excited I just really want to know the gender so that we can start actually buying stuff you know the stuff that's going to matter but we are in the meantime going to you know purchase the rest of the rest of the furniture and stuff which is not going to matter either way um the one thing that maybe you guys can help with this set does not come with a changing table you can buy the um long dresser excuse me and use that as a changing table <clears throat> which is not what i want to do because as you guys saw on the one video the bedroom is kind of small so I just want to get the chest of drawers, which is right here. It's kind of small. It's only, it's a four drawer dresser. And it's only 44 inches high. I guess they make it smaller because it's a kid's dresser, which I mean, it's fine. It's going to be fine for their clothes. They're going to have, you know, a fairly decent sized closet to hang most of their clothes up in anyway. So that's fine. Um, but it doesn't come with a changing table. We're getting it in cherry. So if you guys know of anywhere where we can buy like an unfinished and I haven't even done a Google search so I literally have not looked anywhere but if you guys know of anywhere where you can buy an unfinished um, changing table just basically you know um, changing table with like I'd really love a drawer below and then two shelves but if I can't get the drawer and just two shelves whatever um, but that way we can stain it to match or if you know of somewhere that has a lot of variety in changing tables we're just not finding it. Babies R Us did not have, I mean, most, she says that, or the person that we spoke with said that they don't really have many changing tables anymore, that a lot of people just put the changing um, pad or whatever on top of the dresser, which I don't know if I like that idea anyway. I really just want a changing table specifically for that purpose. But, um, so if you guys have any ideas on where I can look to get them, like I said, I've not looked anywhere, so... There could be an obvious place that I'm missing. Um, I think that if worse comes to worse, we are going to wait till the crib comes in, which they say it's, it'll be in, in like two weeks. We're going to wait for the crib to come in, take one of the smallest pieces if we have to, if it's like the side or whatever, to the stores and see what will match. Um, because we just really want to be able to have, I mean, we're, we, I really want stuff to match and look right, so... But that is pretty much it. I hope everyone had a really great Christmas. We definitely did. Um, it's definitely um, very exciting with everything that passes like that to think that this is our last Christmas alone. Next Christmas we'll have a baby. Um, same with my birthday. It was exciting to know that this is the last birthday we'll spend just us. Next, next year we'll be a family. 
Um, I wish everyone, you know, a happy new year. I hope that for people still trying, I hope this is your year um, because it's it just absolutely is life-changing. So um, take care, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.